Alan Carr and Geraldine, a.k.a. Peter K. on the Paul O'Grady Show at five today. First on four, may the best man win. Deal or no deal, Scrooge versus Santa. Twenty-two boxes, a quarter of a million pounds. Just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal at Christmas. Up, it's Santa or Scrooge, and at the moment the banker must be feeling very pleased that we've had three Scrooges discovered over here, but he must also be very, very nervous that they haven't really worked out to his massive advantage. And now, having found three Scrooges, the advantage must go to the player, surely, in finding a Santa. If the player who comes out here manages to find the Santa bauble, they get an opportunity to thrill Lauren by putting their hand in the turkey. <laughs> <laughs> and then if they want to go on after the next offer, they get an opportunity to get an offer after every single box. And the Scrooge, as was proved yesterday with Butch, doesn't necessarily mean it's the end of the game. He had a very mediocre game at that point and he managed to go away with £15,000. If he'd got the swap right at the end, he'd have had £35,000. So, you almost want the Scrooge, really, because it produces this wonderful mind game with the banker. And we like our mind games. Here come the players. <laughs> <laughs> Santa or Scrooge is producing classic games and great mind games. Have you got a brain that's up to it? Stan? <laughs> and the big moment has come, and yes, this is now your show. Can't believe it. This is nuts. Welcome, <laughs> and this is bravery on my part. Welcome to your show, John Stanley. Yes. From Surrey, which part? Coulston. Teaching assistant. Tell me about that. Uh, I do a lot of jobs at my school, but um, I do a bit of learning mentoring, so helping children to focus better in class and behave a little bit better in class. OK. And you're also a children's entertainer? Yes. Rainbow Man! Yeah. <laughs> well, when I, the, the first time, the first party I ever did, well, my, my daughter was at a nursery and um, one of the members of staff at the nursery was having a, was having a party for her daughter. Couldn't get an entertainer. And she saw the kind of, um, the way the children reacted when I sort of walked in to pick my daughter up. They'd turn around and hysteria would happen. I don't know what it was about me. Oh, I think and... I know. Yeah. <laughs> so she just said, she said, um, I can't get an entertainer, will you entertain? And I said, well, what am I supposed to do? She said, please, you'll be good, the kids love you. So I thought, oh, I'll be a superhero. And then I thought, Rainbow Man, because Rainbow, you've got a song there already, red and yellow and pink and green. I thought, go for that, pot of gold, all that business. So. So that was where Rainbow Man was born from. Fantastic. And what have you brought with you? Oh, my school... People at my school are so great. Can I, can I mention the name of the school? Yeah, of course. Because they're going to go nuts when I say it. Liberty Primary School in Mitcham. You're all brilliant. I know they're rooting for me. Big Stanley in a class of his own, it says on the front. Go, Big Stanley. Go, go, go. <laughs> John, a little gift from all your friends at Liberty to wish you lots of luck for Deal or No Deal. 
What else have we got here? Right, my daughter is the most beautiful little girl of 13. Did and, she um, do that? She drew that. She's got these... Hey, she's, she's talented. She's really, really good. Really, really good. And wow. She, she drew that for me to rest against my box. What's her name? Can I put it there? Kira. Kira. I'm impressed with that, Kira. Well done. And so, here we are, at the big moment. Yes. You read the board very well. I try. And you're here for a lot of money. Plenty. Dangerous combination for the banker. Hmm. I need you, please, to confirm you chose box number seven at random before the game began. I did. Thank you, Stan. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator, who seals all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. OK, Rainbow Man, it's time to fly. <laughs> Good luck, Stan. <laughs> The only, thing, the only thing I thought was, I don't know what's in any boxes, so I was going to have a kind of BAM game. It was just going to be kind of BAM! Like that. Yeah. Box 14, Alexandra. OK. BAM! <laughs> <laughs> Box 14, Alexandra. Okay. Oh, OK, we're underway. <laughs> we're, 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 yeah. we're, we're off already. Right. Hang on, we haven't got ourselves sorted out. Let's oh, get sorry. that camera out of the way. Is this <laughs> BAM thing going to work for...? Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Crumbs. Right, OK. Uh, I'll slow it. I can slow it. <laughs> yeah, don't go too quickly. OK. <laughs> OK, are we ready? It's going to be a BAM game, everybody. <laughs> right, and uh, it appears as if uh, we're giving you a jolly good BAM to start with, <laughs> Alexandra. <laughs> oh, good luck. You're a nice guy. Thank you. Yeah! Come on, take it down. <laughs> right, sharpen up, everybody. It yes. could work. You just, just, just step back in. Bam! <laughs> Mark, box 22. <laughs> 22's been around a lot. It's been very instrumental this week, Central Scrooge Week. Yeah. <laughs> that spinning thing you do, you, you look very out of control. You could end up pointing anywhere. I think I'd probably uh, better ready yeah. myself. <laughs> Box 11, Jane, please. Good luck, Stan. Yeah! <laughs> I can't believe this is working. It's working, it's working, it's working. <laughs> Bam! Tony. Oh, Tony. I want you to open it robo-style, please. <laughs> robo-style? What's this? Wicked. Go. some unusual box openings, but, Tony, that is the best I have ever seen. That was superb, um, mate. Yeah. That was superb. Right. Plus. And, look, you are on the verge of an all-blue opening round. How we've got here, I do not know. No, neither do I. <laughs> this is nuts. Come on, bam your way to an all-blue. Bam! Winston! <laughs> wow. Winston, well, box 16. You sure it's me? Open it, man. Hey. Stand the man. You're great. Welcome to the game, Winston. Thank you. Away you go. Is this an all-blue opening round? Yeah! I can't believe that Rainbow Man <laughs> only knows one colour. <laughs> Hello. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Ring back. <laughs> I did that wrong. I did that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! <laughs> it's 
Stan is here. Is there any doubt that Rainbow Man has arrived? <laughs> and you know what's you know what's going to be at the end of the rainbow, don't you? Big, big pot of gold full of your money. Thank you very much. All blue round. Yeah. Boy, oh boy, you've irritated him. Two and a half thousand pounds. He's having a laugh. No, I am. Twelve and a half thousand. <laughs> How about that? That is big. <laughs> that is a big opening offer. But look. Man, look man. at that. You can't find reds. The BAM cannot be a red detector. My gosh. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Let me just, um... About this properly. Since I haven't got my wife here, you all have to be my wife. Respect me. Let me ask one of my wives what she thinks. No deal. I can't minister. I'm ready for the question now. Stand twelve and a half thousand pounds, deal or no deal. That is so much money. And if this all goes pear shaped, my wife says she's changing the locks. But no deal. Thank you. Yeah. All right. All right, Just brace yourselves. We're going on. Bam. <laughs> Carrie. Oh, she's She's sweet. endearing, isn't she? Oh, she's lovely. <laughs> Best of luck, Stan. You've been great fun. Thank you. to the BAM. The BAM. Well, I'm here the for the big one, so... <laughs> Come on. Another one. BAM. Sarah, box five. After the break. Stan? Yeah. Bammers into the break. Come back to my game, because it's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm going to win a lot of money. BAM! It. Welcome, Bam. <laughs> One to go. One to go. You got me going now. I'm not going to change Def my mind. Yep, you're definitely going with it. I'm definitely going with it. Okay. Sa Sarah, box five, please. I hope it's a delay, really. Thank do. you. Yeah, a little bit of damage. Took a little bit of fire there. Hello. Seven and a half thousand pounds. Docked you five grand because of those two. Don't, don't jeer. Don't jeer. It's fair. Ready for the question? Seven and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? Good offer in the circumstances. No deal. Thank you. <laughs> Right. Come Keep on. your chin up. Keep the energy going. The banker yeah. was trying to get to you there. I he don't won't think... get to me. He doesn't like a party atmosphere. He's a miserable old man. He won't get to me. Oh, is this... Wind, di wind it up a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Here we go. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> a little adjustment. <laughs> yeah, well, it's good. Den number one. Good luck, Stan. You're a lovely guy. I'm going to miss you. Thank you. Man. 
just that. <laughs> ben! Bella! I want a blue from you! It's going to be so quiet in here without you, it's going to be unbelievable. But you've been a great lad, mate. I'm Thank glad you. to have known you. Thank you, Bill. That's all right, mate. That's all right. That's all right. One more. One P, one P, one P, one P. Where are you? Are you there? Bam! Lynn! Let's go. One P. That's all right. It's not bad. It's not bad. Thank you, Noel. Oh, hey, you must be very tired after all that bamming. Yes. Ooh. Hello, the BAM Centre. <laughs> OK. Keep, keep him talking. Keep him talking? He hasn't got the courage to go. Want <laughs> 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 to hear his voice? It's <laughs> ten thousand pounds. It's a very good offer, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he does speak a lot of truth, though. Because do I have the courage to go on from ten thousand pounds? Because if I knock out. You, you, and you. And 35 is my biggest. That's a big old hole between that and the five. But how unlucky would I be to knock out those three? Come on, Stan, think. Oh. <laughs> I'm ready for the question. £10,000, deal or no deal? It's a fantastic offer. But I'm here to have a go. Let me have a go. No deal. Thank you. Yeah! Away you go. <laughs> right, let's just do it. Let's just do it. It was working. Keep working. Keep working. Keep working. Bam! Alex, number eight. Alex, we want the 1p and 50p out in this round. Blue, just for you. <laughs> yes! Ben! Kate, blue for me. Good luck, Stan. You know, I'm going to be really fed up, right, if my alarm goes off and I wake up and I'm in the hotel and I haven't come here yet. <laughs> right, OK. I have to say, I've often wondered if the whole thing was a figment of my imagination. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wa wondering about waking up one morning and thinking, wow, that was a long dream. That was... <laughs> but that's not a bad idea for a show. I may be... <laughs> I may be able well, to say... Well, they did it in Dallas, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hang on a minute. Someone else has woken up. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's the banker. Just said, Good morning, Mr. Edmonds. It's your alarm call. <laughs> <laughs> I've summed up the game so far, um, and you think you're having some sort of dream. I can't believe this. That's Tell them I... why they should come back to your dream. Come back to this dream because if they're filming it, it must have happened. So, come back, please. <laughs> Welcome back to 
<laughs> Stan's game. There's nothing else to say. It is, it is Stan's game. One to go to eight box. <sighs> if it's blue, you are in a sensational position. Okay. Let's see if I can find one. If it ain't broke, baby, don't fix it. Boom! <laughs> Will he am? Will I am? Stan, I wish you all the luck, mate. <laughs> it's going to be a blue this time. God, written for you. Ready? No. Fifty grand. That is a ban. Still got two big dogs barking. Down at the bottom there. That's what I need. Hello. Thank you. He's tried, but you are resilient. He's conceding that you do indeed have the two big dogs. He's going up to £15,000. <laughs> Your box is worth £15,000. If you say no deal, we go on. And at five box, you will have the opportunity of going to the tree. As you can see, it must be in your favour to find a centre. Yeah. Because three humbugs, three Scrooges have already been discovered. Yeah. And that, Stan, with your two big dogs, could be an extraordinary journey for you. £15,000 is the offer. There's big money on that board now. But then again, there's big money sitting right there in front of me now that I could say thank you, put it in my pocket, and walk away. Very, very, very happy. <sighs> Same time, I could no deal that, and I've got one, two, three, four, five to hit, three to miss. Get to five box. <laughs> if I get to five box with those two big dogs, even with all three, that's going to be nuts. Stan, you said you can imagine 15 grand on that table, but imagine yeah. 250 grand on that table. Yeah. Don't let him buy you cheap, Stan. Don't let him buy you cheap. I walk away from a board like that. Two of them are coming with me, and it's as simple as that, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. I must be able to find one of them. Come on, Stan. I'm ready for the question. Fifteen thousand pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on! Believe, believe, believe! We're going to the tree. We're going to the tree. We're going to Santa or Scrooge, regardless. OK, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Bam! Sandy. Number nine. Sandy, number nine. All right. Just don't touch my precious three. Anything else, just don't touch my three. Sandy, away you go. Please, Sandy. Oh, you said right, mustn't Stan. touch okay. those three. Don't right, touch Stan. one of them. Come on. Ben! Harry, please. Come on. Go Come on, on, Stan. You've been an inspiration to us all. Please, all please, please, please. Please, Harry. Oh. Oh. Please. He's only ever had blues. Pip, we really need you to extend that extraordinary blue run. Really hope this is blue, Stan. Please.
That was pretty devastating, wasn't it? That was very painful. Hello. Yeah. Unfortunately for you, the quarter of a million did remain in play. He makes the point that if you can find the centre, this is not just a lifeline for you, Stan. It is almost certainly your passport to a fortune. Stan, it feels almost inevitable that you can hit another centre. Funnily enough, the bauble I've had my eye on since that tree went up was number four and um, nobody took it. That's the one I want. OK. Stan, I hope you've chosen wisely I have. from the 12 days of Christmas. Stan. Reveal the bauble number four. Bam! Would you kindly reach inside and remove a box? Away you go! <laughs> Back to the table. Come on, come on, yeah, energy, yeah, yeah, energy. Yeah, 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 Where's yeah, yeah, the energy yeah, yeah. gone? It's all right, I've got me energy, I'm fine. OK. They always are fabulous holidays. I don't know what you like at travelling, but you are going to Prague. Ooh. Never been to Prague. Christmas shopping in Prague. That's nice. Lovely. You and your wives. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. It's great. You've uh, found the Santa, and that hugely influences this offer, because he knows you've only got to go forward one box at a time if you decline this offer. Oh, my word. £20,000. Oh. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And remember, Stan, you only have to go forward one at a time. One at a time. It's a fabulous Christmas gift if you miss the quarter of a million. OK, right. Simple facts are that I only have to proceed one box at a time. Simple fact also is 250,000 is in one box. I pick that box, then I ain't going to be able to get in my house when I go home. <laughs> Simple as that. So okay. I'm ready for the question. Twenty thousand pounds. Yes. Ah. Ah. Did you hear that? The, the key bit was right at the end. Um, uh, however... Uh, uh, and he was talking in the past tense because, yeah. of course, he uh, knows you're going to deal. He, and said, he if, said, if I proceed uh, and I find the blue, my next offer will be double. Oh. <laughs> so, if you go on and find the £100 or the £250, your next offer will be forty. £1,000. Anyway, you've made your mind up, haven't you? This is new information, isn't it? I feel emboldened by what you said, rather than disheartened. Ooh. Um, I don't know. Do I want to do it? Do I want to do it? Do I want to do it? I'm not scared to admit that I'm scared. You know, if I had if I had something else backing that up, 
if I'd taken the hundred through with me, with it, it'd be a different story, you know? It's sitting there, isolated on its own. I make one wrong move. No, I can't do it, I'm sorry. I'm ready for the question. £20,000. Deal or no deal? Deal. What number? <laughs> With my weird system, I don't know where I would have ended up if well, I had gone on or where I'd end up now. It's so weird. At this point, I normally say play on with honesty, but uh, I think I should just say play on with the insanity that you've used. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. Ben! That means. <laughs> don't for armchair. Maureen. Maureen, we need this to be a quarter of a million pounds. Open the box. Threw away £20,000. That is quite a throw. Yeah, it is. Hello? <sighs> Wham! Bam! Thank you, Stan. <laughs> £40,000, on we go. OK. You could have doubled it. OK. 19, 20, or 3. One has to live with one's decisions, don't they? OK. Bam! Lauren. Just as it could have become very attractive one box at a time, because he has dealt, it can become very unattractive and extremely painful one box at a time. Yeah. It's got to be the quarter of a million. Nothing else will do. Thank you, Lauren. Hello? <sighs> He's laughing now. Stan, you went at 20, you could have had 40, and one more box later, £65,000. And, Stan, if this is £3,000, you will have completed three boxes perfectly. You have to find it now. OK. Bam! It's so got to be 20. 20. Yeah. Mary, put him out of his agony and show us a quarter of a million pounds. In conventional non-Christmas gameplay, yeah. you would have had a sting in the tail yeah. of the round that reduced you from 20,000 to a certain 3,000. But yeah. because we were playing Santa, you did actually lose out on yeah. an additional yeah. 45,000 pounds. Hello. Yeah. The offer would have been at this point 3,900. Oi. At this point, if you'd played to the bitter end, we know you'd have been guaranteed £3,000. Right. But did you actually bring the £5,000 to the table? Yes, yes you did. Okay. <laughs> Len, box 19, will you please open box 19? 3000 sitting over there. There was more there, Stan. Yeah, you have to be a bit more courageous than I am. And, and the reason I wasn't courageous enough to risk that is because £20,000 is going to do so much for me. Well, for me. and your system of spinning... Yeah. ..you ended up in Prague. Yeah, I forgot about that. Don't forget <laughs> that. <laughs> Stan! Good luck in your career. You're a great guy. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful Christmas. Thank you. Enjoy Prague yeah. and enjoy £20,000. Brilliant. What a character. What a fabulous game. I am loving Scrooge or Santa, and I know you are as well.
However, I would say one thing. Even though Sandra and Scrooge produces so many different twists, there is one thing you must never, ever forget about the game. You still need courage. He didn't have it, and he lost the chance of £65,000. Gonna have a great show for you tomorrow. That great show is actually on Sunday at 4.20. Paula Grady's A Brave Man Today, Alan Carr and Peter Kay's Geraldine next.